What's up, every nation? Former nine-year NFL veteran and Christian apologist Mike DeVito here again. And I want to talk to you about an objection that I hear raised often against Christianity and against religious belief in general. And that is that religious belief is socially constructed. So the objection goes something like this. If you were born in the Middle East in the 21st century, you would most likely grow up to be a Muslim. And if you were born in India, you would most likely grow up to be a Hindu. And if you were born in America, you would most likely grow up to be a Christian. So religious belief is socially constructed. It depends on where you were born, the time period you were born in, who your parents are, uh, who the influences were of that time. Um, and so therefore, the conclusion of this objection is either, therefore, religious belief is relative and all religions are true, or religious belief is false across the board. And so there are two ways to respond to this objection. First, it's important to point out to the person raising the dilemma that the objection holds for them as well. So whether they be a cultural relativist or an atheist or an agnostic, um, their beliefs are, are the result of where they were brought up, who their parents were, um, what time period they were brought up in. Uh, and so the objection holds for them as much as anyone else. And so should we say, well, therefore your beliefs are uh, not true or your beliefs are just relative? Well, of course not. Uh, and that follows to the second point that we need to make, and the reason why this, this objection is such an issue, is because it commits what is formally known as the genetic fallacy. And so the genetic fallacy seeks to invalidate somebody's beliefs uh, because of how they came to acquire that belief. But the truth of a belief, or the falsity of a belief, is independent of how somebody came to acquire that belief. Uh, and so in, in both cases, this objection to Christianity and religious belief at large fails.